Now I've said my piece. I want to hear what you think. Well, well, well. Yes, you will be hearing my take. Why did they fight? I genuinely don't know why. Becoming a NASCAR fan in 2020, I've realized a lot of things. Some of them I like and others I don't. So I'm going to point some of them out. This video is in response to the Icebergs video that he just posted a couple minutes ago. Well, an hour ago. Which I will not be reacting to the video itself, but I'll reacting to his opinions about NASCAR. Now, the Iceberg had a lot to say about NASCAR, so I'm going to have a lot to say in return. And may I remind you that this is coming from a kid's perspective. Me, I'm 12 years old. So what adults might think about NASCAR is completely different of what I think of NASCAR. So I'm going to be telling you what I think about NASCAR. And also, NASCAR has been looking for younger fans. Well, I'm a younger fan, so what I like, NASCAR might want to look at, even though they're probably not going to see this video, but what other fans might look at, you might agree with me, you might not, but the iceberg, this one's for you. So, I have some notes down here of what he said, and the first one is too much comedy, and that is mainly going towards Clint Boyer. Now listen, as a kid, I love comedy. Sometimes in the most boringest race ever, last year's Atlanta, not this year, this year's Atlanta was great, last year's Atlanta, I nearly fell asleep, and what kept me watching that race was Clint Boyer. I mean, you gotta admit, the man is funny. You, you can't really say much more. Sorry, I've been, like, looking here because I'm looking at myself. The camera's up there, so I don't know. And this leads into the next thing. The iceberg mentioned the pre-race shows being too, well, too funny or cringy, I guess, and not enough info. Now, if you guys are saying that there's a ton of info in the beginning of the race... If I'm being honest, I'm a diehard NASCAR fan. You can tell by everything I have over there. But if I'm being honest, if there's all info, I'm probably not going to watch it. What I want the pre-race show to be like is entertaining. Now, I know, I know, I know. There's been some cringy stuff. I've, I've seen some of it, and some of it is like, mm, yeah, that's not too good. Look at Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson thing. What, what was that? I didn't even realize it until Eric Isip brought it up. What the hell are you thinking slamming me into the wall like that? You're supposed to have my back. Well, I, I don't know what you're talking about, Chase. No? What'd you think? Your spotter taking the blame is going to smooth this all out? Hey, my spotter said I was clear. All right, so I thought I was clear, and that's it. You're saying that's why you took your own freaking teammate out? Well, look, 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 look. I wasn't trying to take no one out. I was just trying to get the Hendrick car into victory lane. That's it. Look, you only have your Hendrick car because of me. I'm what counts out here. The most popular driver. Not your little championship, not your little dirt races. Well, yeah, I like my dirt races, and I like winning. I watched it, and I was like, oh, man, this is garbage, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I want info, but I want info in a funny way. And I guess the iceberg kind of mentions that. He says that's kind of how the old race was, the uh, old pre-race shows would be. I don't know. Also, this is, this is a bad quality i i know that it's because i'm recording on a webcam and i put it to full screen so just don't mind that now next up this is something i can agree with him is the, the cameras all right Th this is getting out of hand the the thing is this i don't know what lap it was but at richmond i was watching it i was at my house and the uh, Mike Drew was like, oh, Ross Chastain goes up the track. And they were focused on Ryan Blaney. The, they, the whole time, they didn't even cut to Ross Chastain. They didn't cut to him. They said, Mike Drew was like, oh, up goes, up the track goes, uh, or who was it, Ross Chastain. They didn't show it. I think they might show it at the end or something. But, but it's like, what? It's like, Man, you really gotta get this. Like, 
I want to see if you're yelling, then I want to see what you're yelling about. <laughs> now, the next thing I haven't really noticed, but at the race replays, when someone mentions it, I notice it. The zooming of the cameras. I, mm, I don't know about this. I mean, like, I noticed it at the clash. That was the one time I noticed it while they were broadcasting it. But then when people show me, like, replays of the times I would zoom in, they, you could, they zoom in so much, you can see what Ryan Blaney is thinking. Oh, man, I can't believe Ryan, Ryan Newman just dumped me. I can't believe, I, I don't know, I'm just, I zoomed in, I was pretending to be Ryan Blaney. Yeah. Also, I do have a steering wheel. But, in the end, I mean, it's like, it's just how they do the cameras, I guess. It's not too big of a deal i just think they could maybe like zoom out a little bit show more cars another thing about nascar is they're always showing one car i guess you could say like not always just i feel like i feel like they should always have the cameras on a side-by-side -side battle i feel like that would entertain you more than having the cameras always on ryan blaney who by the way led every lap in stage one I feel like if there's a side-by-side -side battle somewhere on the track, you got to be getting that on camera, no matter what. Even if even if it's, like, about to clear them, you still got to get it on camera. So now we went from mainly talking about Fox to the greater show, NBC, which I like NBC a lot more than Fox, mainly because I think what other people think. I heard this on a Dale Jr download podcast just talking with ricky craven ricky craven said who you hang out with is who you're gonna become who i listen to is what i think when i hear someone say fox is bad i start thinking that fox is bad so genuinely thinking if no one ever told me that fox is bad I would be completely fine. I would have almost no doubts, maybe besides getting more, like, cameras in, I guess. But now, we're moving to the greater show, NBC, which I actually do think is greater. But here's something, here, here, alright, this is important. A lot of people don't like how NBC yells. I love when NBC yells. I mean, as a kid, I mean, I, I said that like I'm talking to like 10 years ago. Literally yesterday, when they were yelling, it like, it gave me chills. Like, I was like, ooh, this is awesome. It's like, when people yell out of like excitement or something, it is so cool to me. When they're just coming around the corner and they're screaming Denny Hamlin's about to win. I mean, they didn't, which I was kind of bummed about. would have like hyped the mood. But if they did, that would have been cool. The 2016 Daytona 500. That was amazing. I didn't see it live. I became a fan in 2020. But, like, the, everyone was screaming at the end. The, the, Daryl Waltrip said, Corn Dog, at the end. He literally said, Corn Dog. Like, I can probably pull up. I can pull it up right now. I'll do that cool YouTube thing. Mark Truex, Truex Jr., three wide. Truex to the bottom. Oh, and right. no, I'm no, no, Brad. Kenza saves it. Here they come to the line. This is the finish of the Daytona 500. Come on, side by side, bouncing off each other. Unbelievable. I think it was Denny Hamlin. I have it as Hamlin. What Denny finish. Hamlin. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Yelling, in my opinion, makes it so much better. Like, Dale Jr. yells slide job. That's clean. That is clean. That is amazing. Top performance. And continuing with NBC, I know we're getting a little long here, but um, with NBC switching channels, I mean, this is horrible. So now, sometimes, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, I watch NASCAR on Twitch sometimes. <laughs> uh, but um, if it weren't for Twitch, I would not have seen the Indy road course finish. And the Indy road course finish was amazing. I mean, I love Denny Hamlin. He's my favorite driver, so it was obviously terrible. But it would have been so much worse if I found that out on the NASCAR Highlights YouTube channel. 
And let me tell you a quick story here. So, 2020 Talladega. We come in to the Sunday. I'm so hyped. I'm wearing my Denny Hamlin shirt and my Denny Hamlin hat. And then, out of nowhere, Kyle Busch goes sideways, hits Ryan Blaney, goes a little airborne, and I'm screaming like a football fan. It was awesome. I was like, man, I, at this point, I've never seen a NASCAR flip my first time seeing that. It was Charlie Gano 2021. But I was like, man, that's so cool. That was like a near flip right there. Then we see the big one. Then we see Kurt Busch fly on top of Cole Custer. And I'm just screaming, like, sprinting 30 miles. And then it comes down to the closing. And then the big one happens right before they take the white. And then all of a sudden they go to the commercials. I'm like, all right. Five minutes later, they're still in commercials. I'm like, all right, it's taking a while. 30 minutes later, they're still in commercials. And I'm looking at Bubble Walsh's onboard camera that's streamed by the NASCAR YouTube channel. And they're racing. So, and then that's when I realized that they switched channels. And I said this before, Denny Hamlin's my favorite driver. If I would have seen him won in a photo finish, photo, I love photo finish, that would have been the greatest race I've ever seen. So it's like, what, what, why did you take that off? Like, a photo finish, do you know how many viewers you lost? I don't know, I'm still terribly mad at them for doing that but overall it's pretty good i just stayed my things about what me a kid thinks about nascar i think it's pretty good i like the yelling i like the i just i can live with the free ratios the cameras or yeah Oh, yeah, I completely skipped this one. Commercials. I'm just going to hit this real quick. Commercials suck. As a kid, you can obviously expect that. But every two seconds, there's a commercial on. It's like, jeez. Obviously, it was, it was like lap 14 when Kurt Busch brought out the caution. Cautions? Okay, fine. It's a caution. Ten laps later, we have a commercial. Twenty laps after that, we're going to go fuck side by side so you won't miss a thing. Who cares? It's literally so bad when you can't even hear the commentary. When you just hear the, like, yodeling out of the Bubble Loss DoorDash commercial. Anyways, commercials suck. They're absolutely garbage. I hate commercials so much that there's way too many of them. I think we should have NASA go be a two-hour-long broadcast and have no commercials. Kind of like F1. Anyways, those are my things on NASCAR. I mean, like, I know I don't normally make this video, so I'm sure it's not going to get a ton of views like my other videos. By the way, thanks. But I've been meaning to make this video for a while. And then the iceberg just posted a video, so I'm like, all right, this is the perfect time to make a video. So I made a video. Well, that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I've been doing my hair for like 20 minutes now. Just, just. I also don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know. That'll be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. So, see ya.